by the law. All right. So most important thing. So that's the angle of the light through the center of the sphere. Now I know I need to draw a perpendicular. Actually, let me do it this way. Now, you guys, realistically, you could go like this. What? You could go, oh, it's there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, that's visually accurate. But I also want you to know this method because I think it's pretty darn cool. And, uh, and brilliant and all that. So I'm looking to find the exact location of uh, let me explain why we're doing this. <coughs> I need to find the exact location of the tangents because that's where, if I find it, say, up here and here, that's where my terminating ellipse, the major axis for my terminating ellipse is going to be. You see what I mean? Because I'm close enough to it that I'm not going to, the ellipse isn't going to be centered around the center anymore because I'm closer. So, Watch what happens, everybody. Just keep your eyes up for a little bit. This will happen pretty quickly once it starts. I'm going to turn my compass so it's more than half this distance. And I'm going to find the midpoint of this line by going like this from each spot without changing it. That's the midpoint between these two points. All right? Now watch. This is cool. I put the compass on the midpoint. I turn it to the center, and I go like this. Those are the tangent points. Geometry is crazy. Cool. I don't remember the So, and those are perfect tangents. Yeah. What, what were the steps again? All right. Keep your eyes up for a second. I'll go through it one more time. You guys, find the midpoint. Find the midpoint. Take the distance from the midpoint to the center of the sphere and swing the arc, and wherever it hits the sphere or the circle is the tangent. No, I mean, the steps to find the midpoint, I was watching the whole time, but like, it, it was like Oh, to find the midpoint. What I did was I went like this. I took the compass, and I went more than halfway, and I swung it like this, and then I took the same measurement, swung it to the other side, and it'll find these two crosses, which then when I draw it between, finds the midpoint. Yeah. Like so, with the first, was it just like arbitrary? Like, because you don't have to go where the light source like, Uh, for this first part, what yeah. it was was I just went more than halfway, more than half this distance. So it's not like an exact. No, you. What you're doing, you guys. What you're doing is basically this. If you take any line and you mark two points. You basically are just doing this, swinging the same arc from both locations, and you get a weird little fish shape. And when you draw a line in between them, it finds the midpoint. That's all. It, that's all you're doing. And you're, what you need is you need to find the midpoint. I'm going to put. Um, you need to find the midpoint between the light source and the center of the sphere. Now, 
the reason this is important is when we go to actually do this in the mechanical, that's our major axis on the sphere. When we go to actually draw the whole shadow. So that's why this is an important step. Everybody okay? Yeah. Where did you go from to get the outside arcs again? Not not on the not on the image chart. The These those ones. Yes. Um, I basically started at the center. I went more than halfway. In this case, I went about that far, but it doesn't really matter how far. And I basically did that, and then I turned it around, put it at the light source, and I did that. And you find those two intersections, and when you draw a line, you find the midpoint. Center to half the length? Of More than half. It, if you know you have to divide a line in half, any radius that you choose that's more than half, if you swing an arc and swing an arc, you can split the oh, line. So half the radius of the circle? Well, no, half the radius of this. Oh. Because oh. if I go if I go less than half, the two lines won't cross. Okay. If they go more than half, they'll cross, and then they'll find the midpoint. Yeah, Katrina? So this determines the boundary of the side that's in light, and it determines the major Yeah, this will, this will eventually be the basis for our terminating shadow ellipse. Well, we'll do that when we come back from break. All right, you guys, go ahead and take 10.